Greetings, kinder care families. My name is Sean and I work with the kinder care education team. Today we're going to be exploring bubbles and ways that we can actually put things inside of bubbles as opposed to the traditional method of popping them. In order to do today's activity, you're going to need just a couple of simple household supplies. You need one cup of water, which just room temperature is fine. You're going to need one teaspoon of dish detergent, any brand. You'll want to have a clear container to mix them in, a spoon to do the mixing, and then you want to use a straw, preferably reusable so we can save supplies. It also helps to have a couple plastic or solid toys for part of the experiment. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take the cup of water and you're going to pour it directly into the clear container. So this is going to be the container that we use to make our base for our bubbles. Then you're going to measure out one teaspoon of dish detergent. Doesn't have to be exactly precise, but this is just a rough amount. And you're going to dump that into the water. Using the spoon, we're going to mix this up to create our bubble solution. The important part of this activity is going to be creating a base for the bubbles to hold on to. Because it is liquid, if you have a very slick surface, for example, on my countertop, the bubbles are naturally going to spread. But if we can create a location for the bubbles to go, it's going to make it a lot easier to do the activity. So once I've got the solution mixed, I can just leave the spoon in there. I can use it to dull some out. I'm going to take a little bit of the water and I'm going to pour it directly onto the countertop. So just a little bit of the soapy water on the countertop. And then using my hands, we're going to spread it around. You're going to get some water and get some soap a couple different places, but none of this should stain and none of this should be anything very dangerous. Just keep an eye if it gets any on the floor that it could be a slipping hazard. Once we've put some on the countertop, you're going to take the straw and it's important to go over the safe practices with the straw. For the straw, we're going to use this to blow the bubbles, but it's really important that nobody breathes in through the straw. We don't want the kids swallowing the soap water. It's not going to necessarily hurt them, but they're also not going to enjoy the experience. So all they need to do is dip the tip of the straw into the water and take it back out. Best practice would be not to have their mouth on the straw when they're dipping it in the water. We're going to try to blow a bubble on the soap base. How big of a bubble can you blow? How about you try? Now that we have our bubble blown, what do we typically do with bubbles? I know growing up what I would normally do is pop the bubble. Have you ever been able to put anything inside of a bubble? What do you think will happen if I tried to put my finger inside of the bubble? Did you expect it to pop? Let's try it one more time. What do you think happens if before trying to put my finger in the bubble, I got my finger in the soap solution? So now my finger has soap water on it. What do you think is going to happen when I try to put this inside the bubble? Did you expect it to pop? Why don't you try? Now that I've played a little bit to explore what happens by putting items inside of the bubbles, do you think we could put bubbles inside of bubbles? Why don't you pause the video for a minute and see if you can put a bubble inside of a bubble? Did it work? A hint would be if you make sure that the end of the straw has soap water on it, just like our finger, you could put the straw inside the bubble. Then gently try to blow another bubble. Were you able to put a bubble inside of a bubble? So now that we've explored putting objects inside of the bubble and blowing bubbles inside of a bubble, do you think you could put a toy inside of a bubble? If you have a toy with you, preferably not one that's soft or cloth, let's try to see if we can put that object inside of a bubble. What do you think you have to do in order to be able to put this toy inside of the bubble? 
If you said that we need to get a wet with soap solution, you're right. So once I've made the items wet with soap solution, and I've also got the ends of my fingers covered in soap, I can try to slowly start sliding the item inside the bubble. Can you see that? Now why don't you try? Were you able to put an item inside of a bubble? If you notice, the bubble was actually slightly moving away, so I'm actually able to pull the toy back out of the bubble. So in order to be able to put things inside of bubbles, instead of just pop them like normal, what is it we had to do differently? Have you ever played trying to put things inside of bubbles before? If not, make sure you cover the space with some soap water before you blow the bubbles to make sure they stay in place. Thanks for learning with me today. Make sure you come back every day to find a different activity to explore with. Sometimes give me more science and sometimes it might be other subjects like music. I hope you have a great day. Ring, ring.